Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fortnite Save the World video. This is a quick video for Ramp Amplifier, for Twine Peaks Endurance. As most of you already know, it's always the loop bridge. The build works well, the block offs are good, everything is usual. Only the loop bridge. Smashers and mini bosses still act weird for this amplifier. But with the new loop bridge, the mini bosses won't be an issue at all. And the smashers will just keep charging and moving around the amplifier till the wave ends. But they never charge inside the tunnel as they do for some people with the old loop bridge. But if your build works well, keep it as it is and skip this video. Never change anything if you don't need to. I tested it with this new build, but it will work for the old build too. Plus both builds have the same path and most of the block offs. I'm just delaying the new build video till Twine Peaks goes back to normal. I don't want to post a new build video, then follow it with ton of update videos. And as always, I will add gameplay clips at the end of the video. A bonus tip, changing the loop bridge to an older version helps a lot. Since things always change forward and backward in Twine Peaks. Like as you saw yesterday with Valley Amplifier. I know the Devil Amplifier have issues right now during Wave 6, the North Direction. I'm working on it right now and will update it as well. Only the loop bridge, the build doesn't need any changes. Now let me show you the loop bridge. It will be a two levels one. When the bridge starts on a lower level than the top of the amplifier, then go up at the end of it. Or vice versa, like I will do here. I will start from the top here, then go down to the same level of the top of the amplifier. We used to use this idea before, but not much, since it costs a lot of structure sometimes. But for ramp, it worked well with wave 23 smashers. I will destroy it and built it step by step to make it easier to follow. Start from here. Add another connection here inside the terrain. Same thing we did with Valley Amplifier. Smashers may destroy some of these arches around the amplifier. But it's okay, don't worry. These two walls are only for wave 3. To drag the smashers to follow the amplifier without charging inside the tunnel. After that, they are useless. So, if the mini boss destroyed them during wave 5 or wave 13, no need to worry. Once Twine is stable again, I will post a new build video from scratch. Because this amplifier got a lot of update videos already. But for now, this loop will fix any issues you have during waves 3, 13, and 23. Any updates or newer builds will be in the description, so make sure to check it out. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to use code LARSIS in the item shop if you want to support me, helps me a lot. Like, subscribe if you are enjoying the content, helps the video to reach more people. I'm testing for Devil right now, and will post a video for it once I figure out the new loop bridge. Here's the rest of the gameplay for waves 13, 23, and 26. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, see you in the next one.